good morning and welcome back to my channel this is my good morning vlog um i'm not really sure exactly what i'm going to talk about i have a few ideas um i guess a little bit of a psa here um dropped my kids off my one the other two are napping um i actually made myself some hash browns and an egg it's pretty delicious had my coffee um i'm sort of fostering a cat so I actually think I'm gonna try and uh, get some footage in of her somewhere in this video at the end. She's so cute. She was a little stray, trying to find a rescue that'll take her. I'm not allowed to have her inside, but we sort of set her up a little situation outside and just kind of been keeping an eye on her. So hopefully by the end of the week, she gets picked up and taken care of and gets put in a nice family and has a good life. Um, so there's all that. No date this last weekend. So um, it's just, it's hard with everything going on. Um, like I said, you know, my father-in-law is really struggling with his health right now. And uh, it's kind of at that point where uh, um, you know, there's some timelines and you know, I don't like talking about it. It's, I'd rather be in the moment and I'm I'm a person that I don't speak up people like they're dead till they're dead. You know what I mean? And I feel like some people don't do that and that's fine. But I don't want to talk about any of that stuff until it's it's here. Just how I am. So you know, you just take it one step at a at a time. Um that's that. So here's a little um, topic I want to kind of put out there in the universe. And this is something I've been working on myself for the past like year, I would say. Um, maybe a little bit over a year at this point. But it's how to handle people that treat you like garbage, honestly. And the key is, in my opinion, it's not to like fight them back or get them back or anything like that. It's to stand up for yourself, which sounds very self-explanatory or like common sense, but it's not. And here's why. Um, there's definitely been a few situations and I've sort of dealt with even like just family strife um, where someone that should treat you with a mutual respect and a love and a caring heart, that just straight up does it. And they're, they're cruel, like they're just straight cruel. And you're gonna see this in all walks of life uh, with all types of people beyond just your family in your friend circles and work circles wherever and I feel like the best way to go about cutting that out of your life besides just literally ignoring that person or pushing them straight out which is normally what I do but in some situations you just can't in those situations I feel like the best way to sort of handle that is to not let them treat you like that which sounds again like I said so easy to do but what I found is everyone else doesn't get it. So when you start sort of subtly standing up for yourself and putting up boundaries, which is the key here, um, of just not finding it appropriate in the way they talk to you, the way they treat you, everyone else all of a sudden looks at you like you're the crazy person because it causes more drama and you sort of somehow become the jerk off. Like, oh, well, you know how that person is. Like, just let it go. It is what it is and don't let it bother you. But you know what? It should bother you. And here's why it should bother you because you deserve better than that. And if, you know, my daughter or my son ever came to me and said, oh, so-and-so is treating me like this at the playground or at my new job or whomever, wherever, I wouldn't tell my child you know what you just know who they are and you just have to sort of pretend like it didn't happen and whatever else no you don't have to do that and i'm not saying be mean or like spread rumors about them or expose them or anything like that it's more or less set up your boundaries know what your boundaries are if they're doing anything to you that you feel uncomfortable, you feel like it's wrong, then now you know what your boundary is. XYZ behavior puts me in a predicament where I feel 
like a negative aura is coming into my space, you don't need to sign up for that. Now you know exactly what that behavior is. When they start to do that behavior again, you have to just cut it out. You literally have to walk away from the situation, make it obvious but not obnoxious. Um, my way is I sort of kind of, you know, I definitely have been in situations where people um, can be kind of snarky and like that's just their language is their language is sort of like aggressive and nasty and um, confrontational in a way and I kind of give it right back to them I think that was just a fly in my camera <laughs> ew <laughs> we don't live in a dirty pig pen I promise it's just this stray cat I've been going in and out all day to like feed her and like sort of watch out for her she's tiny she's like three pounds I'm pretty sure she's a kitten uh, anyway, um, what did I say? Um, oh, right. So it's like sort of like a snarky, like aggressive sort of um, almost narcissistic persona that you deal with. And that's the thing is you deal with a persona. Like, and that's how I put it in my head. It's like, I'm not really dealing with a person anymore because this doesn't feel personable. It's a persona and it's kind of some bullshit. Um, you don't have to welcome that into your life and don't. And be ready for when you put those boundaries down that a lot of people are gonna have a problem with you and that they're not gonna understand that you're allowed to say no. And it does, it pisses people off. And it shouldn't, it really shouldn't. Um, and I know it's caused some major strife in my life and um, it's, I don't wanna say it's bitten me in the butt because to me it feels worth it because where I am now is that all of that bullshit, I don't deal with it as much as I did a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, five years ago. Like a lot of that has dropped down, I would say at about 80%. I mean, every once in a while you have a moment and you know, I try and strategize the best way possible to sort of solve for that. But just, you know, really learning that you're worth um, being treated better and don't worry about it. Um, you know, I definitely have some stories of some like very direct situations of how this applies and how this has sort of crept into my life. Um, but I've just sort of been thinking about it um, the past few days and figured, you know, I'm sure so many people go through this where they just sort of like smile and like deal with nasty bullshit because it makes everyone else happy because they just, they know that if they sort of grow a set and sort of stand up for themselves that everyone else is gonna be dealing with that too, right? So if like you sort of stand up to a bully or a mean girl, everyone else then has to deal with that recourse in a way, right? Because that mean jerk off doesn't like being told that they're a mean jerk off, which blows my mind. It, and also, you want to dive into it, makes you think like, so do you just not know your jerk off? Is Because that's maybe more concerning to me. Like, you really just don't know that you're like a nasty, vile human being. Like, wow, you really think that you're the victim here. Okay. That's like, that's like a whole nother vlog. <laughs> it's like a whole nother moment. Anyway, so just be ready for, for that first wave and I went through that first wave a few years ago with a lot of different situations and it is so tough you are apps people spread rumors about you they lie about you they tell people that you're a nasty human being um, that you're mean that you're out to get them that you're jealous that you're that you're everything they they don't like being shut down and and it's like then you have to deal with them going around saying like, oh, look at how mean she is. Look, look at her be so mean to me. When in reality, you know, you're not being mean, you're just putting up a boundary. And that boundary sort of waves the red flag to that other person. And now they know they're, they're wrong and no one likes to be wrong. But this is like a whole nother level. And then you have to deal with all the other people that were told all that stuff. And then they come to you and it's just, you know, it's a moment. And uh, all I can say is the other side, it's so much nicer. It is. And you get there eventually and you have to sort of wade through those waters and it's pain. Oh my God, it is such a pain. You get called a lot of names. You get put down a lot behind your back. But you know what? You know, three years down the line, 
almost 30 years down the line with the other one I'm thinking of, like, it's worth it. There's, there's almost no drama in my life. The most dramatic thing is actually real life, like, hard stuff. Like, that no amount of anything, unfortunately, is going to solve for, right? Like, real stuff. Um, so, you know, it, it's, it's good to finally be in a place where, like, and, I, and this is what I call it, like, you're like a high school mean girl. Like, all that, like, sort of high school mean girl bullshit, I don't have that anymore. Like, in any way, shape, or form. And it's really nice. And that's what I had to do to be able to get here, is that you really have to just draw your line in the sand, stick to it, own it, know that you're going to be sort of trying, be put in, like, a really negative light, and just be okay with that because you know that you're really not a bad person. You're just sick of like dealing with someone like putting all their negative energy in your space and that's all it is is i just don't want your negative energy all up in my grill look take that elsewhere gross i'm over here trying to save stray cats all right i don't have time for that all right guys um that's kind of it for today um it's just a little stuff all up in here i want to get it out i'm gonna i guess do some dishes because stay at home mom life, yay. Um, I'll take some video of this cute cat. I'll include it in like two seconds when I sign off. She's so cute. I just want to get her home. She's so deserving of it. And if I had the space, ooh, if I had the space, we would have, it'd be like Noah's Ark in here. <laughs> We're not there yet. All right, guys, thanks for listening to me. It's always nice. Um, go enjoy some coffee, go enjoy your day, subscribe, like, share, whatever. I will see you later. I have some fun stuff. Um, I'm gonna do like a fall haul clothing video soon. I'm trying to still set that up to see how, like I have to put my camera to be able to like get it all. It's, I'm learning a lot, a lot of stuff about how to edit and whatever else. So that'll happen. Um, I might have another like recipe situation um, coming, but um, I will see you later. Thank you so much and bye. Little Stray, her name is Coco. We named her after our family's favorite Disney movie, Coco. Currently trying to get a rescue to help us get her into a nice loving foster home. She's so sweet and we just want her in a good place.